Welcome back everybody. I am excited for today's video. We are doing a giveaway on a brand new product that we have. If you want to see how to win, you're going to have to stick around. We'll tell you all about it later. And to go along with the safety theme, we're going to talk about all the ways your tractor can kill you. You're not going to want to miss it. A perfect sponsor for this video, Bora Wheel Spacers. If you feel tippy side to side on your tractor, they're long and narrow. Wheel spacers can make a big difference. Check out Bora. They're made in America and lifetime warranty. As we go through this video, if you think of something we should know, leave a comment down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more tractor videos and if you want something for your machine, check out goodworkstractors.com. So fortunately, we don't have any personal clips to share of these ways that your tractor can kill you. Unfortunately, there's a lot of dangerous situations all over the internet. So we'll see if we can find some of those and put them in this video so you can kind of visualize how bad that looks when you're actually doing it, maybe from another perspective and keep yourself out of that kind of scenario. Okay, so this first one, if you have something tied off to the back of your tractor, and that could be maybe tied off to a stump that you're trying to pull out. It could be tied off to a very heavy wagon. Maybe you're tied off doing a tractor pull. You see this a lot with bigger tractors than what we have here, but if you're anchored off to something very heavy, I think a tree or a stump is a good example because that's stationary and doesn't want to move. So as you're trying to spin and spin and dig that out, there's a chance that your tractor just wants to roll right back and potentially, especially if you don't have a roll bar or maybe your roll bar's down, it could roll all the way back over and crush you underneath it. Now, most of the examples that I've seen online are going to be with larger gear drive machines, um, not so much a smaller hydro like this. However, the premise still applies nonetheless, so it's something you want to be aware of. If you have a heavy load back here, be really careful when you start to put the power to the ground with your tractor. So this right here is called a ROPS or a rollover protection system, rollover protection structure. Cab tractors are going to have them built in as well. You'll see them on all the modern day equipment. They do have a hinge point so that if you need to go into maybe a garage for storage or underneath limbs, you can do so. But for the most part, you do want to leave this up. Always reference your safety manual. It'll tell you if you want to wear your seatbelt or if you don't, when to have this up or down. There's a lot of rules that are involved. I don't want to get into all of it, but reference your manual. Okay, so let's talk about those annoying safety features that are on here for a reason. First, with the John Deere tractors, you can't even start these smaller machines unless you are in neutral. If you put it in low or high range, you're not even gonna be able to turn it on. One of the popular hacks that you see is folks wanting to disable the seat safety switch so that if you hop off of the operator station, if you are in low or high range, it's not gonna kill the engine and turn the machine off completely. Oh, well, I find man. that to be annoying as well. A feature like that is there for a good reason because it's gonna prevent any motion from happening or if you leave mower blades engaged as you hop off, you just forget to, to do one step because you're just in a rush, for example, there could be a disaster waiting to happen. So I would encourage you not to mess with that seat safety switch. So to go along with that, you know, these things have a parking brake on them. So use that at every opportunity. In fact, I've been guilty of not releasing my parking brake uh, when I go to get back in on the tractor and get moving somewhere. But you wanna put that on, especially if you're on hills of any kind. You know, these brakes aren't fantastic on these tractors. So you might wanna put your loader down, put your bucket down on the ground too. If you need to be completely stationary, the last thing you wanna do is see your tractor rolling down a hill. Another safety feature is going to be called a reverse override that is actually on your tractor. You've heard of the stories and nightmares of folks running over something behind them unintentionally when they're mowing their lawn. You know, this at least makes it so that you have to think about it. You have to intentionally pull this out um, in order to go in reverse and have your mower deck on, but it's something to make sure you don't bypass. That's the last thing you'd want to do. It's just not worth the the potential disaster that could be waiting for you. So an issue like that could potentially be dangerous for yourself or somebody around you. You know, whether you're going in front of your tractor just to get something out of the way and it keeps rolling forward, or maybe you step away for a second to go get something out of the garage and it rolls down a hill into the road or it hits a house or a building or something else. You know, same thing when you're backing up and mowing. If there's something behind you that you just didn't see before, but now it's there, that's everybody's worst nightmare. Now this next one, oh man, I can't even imagine, but if you have something hooked up to your rear PTO, a tiller, a brush hog, you know, you've seen those black plastic covers that are on there. Those are actually separate. They're independent from the shaft that's inside. And the reason is there is because so many accidents were happening a long time ago, kind of in uh, Chris and I's grandpa's generation when somebody would go down to get something that was maybe wrapped around there or kind of in the area and they'd reach down and get a sleeve tangled in and around the PTO shaft and it would just kind of drag everything else along with it. So at minimum, that is just a bad situation. You know, you're talking your hand, your arm, it could be something a lot worse. And it's one of the main reasons that every time we're hooking up, maybe Chris and I or, or Paul and I or Morgan and I are hooking up an attachment, 
I just make sure that the tractor is completely turned off so that there's, you know, it's like it would never happen, right? The PTO is not just going to turn on magically by itself, but I make sure that's not going to happen by turning the tractor off. And so far, I still got both my arms, so that seems to be working well. Okay, so this next one is kind of a tricky, dangerous situation, and it involves going down a hill. Now, I know of examples from folks that have shared it with me. One was mowing his lawn, going down a hill, and simply lost control. The tractor would not respond to the brakes. Nothing would happen. It just lost control. He ended up falling over and tipping it over to the side. Fortunately, the ROPS bar prevented it from rolling continuously. He escaped unharmed somehow, miraculously. So the next gentleman, he shared uh, a situation with me, a really dangerous situation. He had a bucket full of dirt or stone, it doesn't really matter, and he was going down a bit of a hill in his 3E tractor, I think it was. Turns out he was in two-wheel drive, and uh, the tractor just got really light on the backside, and everything was on, all the weight was on those front two wheels, which had absolutely no ability to stop the machine. And it's a dangerous situation. You're out of control at that point. You're at the mercy of the hill, of the tractor, Actor. You could hit a structure, you could go onto a road, you could hit somebody else. You have no idea what's going to happen. So someone had shared with me as well at some point, if you get into a situation like that, putting your tractor into four wheel drive is going to make a difference because then your front two wheels are tied into the drive system just like the backs. So if you get a little bit lighter on the backside, you still have that ability to have some control with the front two wheels. So it's just important to keep your situation in the front of your mind, you know, keep your loader as low as you possibly can. So at the first hint of maybe getting out of control, you can just lower your bucket down and help kind of skid you to a stop. You don't want to go too fast because then it could potentially flip you over or something dangerous. Engage that four wheel drive system. Maybe you need to back down your hill instead of go forward down your hill. I wouldn't encourage you to go sideways on a hill. That's coming up soon. But if you don't slow down and think about it ahead of time, it could be too late once you're in the middle of it. Alrighty guys, so I am excited for this. Long time in the making, these things just take way longer to get to market than you would think, but we have our very own weight bracket here, and it's more than just a weight bracket, it's a Versa bracket, starting with a chainsaw holder up top that will hold up to a 20 inch bar. You're gonna have your two inch receiver down below, you have a couple of chain hooks, and then of course you have the ability to hold eight suitcase weights, whether they're 41 pounds or 70 pounds. So these are the 70 pound weights, they're gonna be the bigger ones that you have on here. So you have eight times 70, so you have about 560 pounds, plus about another 50 pounds just for a round number. So you have a little bit over 600 pounds of ballast weight that's on your three-point hitch. These are also gonna be quick hitch compatible too, or you can just hook it up right to any category one three-point hitch. We're gonna have weights that are green or black, so you know, if we run out of one color or another, they are very easy just to spray paint, not a big deal there, but just so you know. Okay, so if you wanna have a chance to win, it's very easy. All you have to do is leave a comment down below. You have until September 8th, 2021 at noon Eastern time. We're gonna do a drawing right after that. There are random YouTube comment generator picker things. We're just gonna put uh, the URL of the video in there, let it do its thing. It's gonna select one winner at random. You'll get a set of suitcase weights and a bracket shipped right to your house. Now to clarify, it has to be a comment in this video, this is the only video that's gonna be used for the giveaway. Now, if you are unfortunately not the winner, you can still buy one of these sets. Get a set of weights, whether they're 41 pounds or 70 pounds, and a Versa bracket shipped to your house. We put everything together on a skid. Gonna ship on a semi truck. Just pull your bucket right up to the back of the semi. Can fit it right in your bucket, lower to the ground, you're good to go. Check out goodworkstractors.com. So this is just the beginning. We're getting close to 100,000 subscribers, and so we're gonna do a bunch of random giveaways in upcoming videos over the next few weeks. So don't miss those future giveaways. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you'll know anytime there's a new video posted. Okay, so this last one is really what this solution is all about, and that's gonna be preventing you from tipping over to the front, you know, and to some extent, tipping over to the side as well. When you think of tractor accidents, that's probably the most common scenario that you think of in your head, and farm accidents, rollovers, are the most common type of tractor farm accident that occurs. So I've talked about operator safety, tractor safety, a whole bunch on this channel, and that's why I wanted to come out with a product like this, a whole solution of my own that I could offer to you guys as well. You know, so it's one of those things, again, you don't realize it sometimes until it's too late. Don't put yourself in that spot. But when you have a bucket full of dirt or a bucket full of rock up here, when you start to pick that up and move it around, if you're really light, you'll just start to feel that immediately when you take it off the ground. Otherwise, as you start to climb and raise higher and higher, 
especially if you, for some reason, I would not recommend it, but if you're moving around with your loader up this high, you're gonna start rocking and rolling all over the place. Look at your operator's manual. I know John Deere is really good about giving you minimum recommended amounts of ballast weight. Typically, you need to put some weight on your three-point. You gotta put more weight up front somewhere in your tires with liquid ballast or put wheel weights on there. You gotta do more than one thing most of the time. The stock setup on these modern compact tractors simply isn't adequate when you wanna use the front end loader. In my opinion, the only time you wanna see your bucket this high is when you are essentially at a standstill, dumping it out. You never wanna be moving around with your bucket anywhere near this height. Always keep it as low to the ground as you possibly can. Okay, so that's tipping your tractor over to the front. The other danger is tipping your tractor over to the side. All these tractors are so long and narrow that, again, if you have a loader up in the air like this or even a couple feet down from there or maybe you're just on some kind of an incline and maybe there's a bump, a bump or a rut that you hit, it's easy to get in a dangerous spot. So we work with Boro wheel spacers. We wanted them as a channel sponsor because they can widen the footprint of your tractor, especially on the rear axle. They can add, you know, four, five, six, maybe even 12 inches if you wanna get six inch spacers and make a huge difference in that stability feeling. There's other considerations to be made when getting wheel spacers. We've covered that in depth, but it's a good solution to look at if you are in a tippy kind of a scenario in your property. You also wanna lower your center of gravity, get that liquid ballast in here, get those wheel weights. You wanna think keeping weight as low to the ground as possible is gonna be working in your favor. So if you do find yourself in the terrible situation of tipping your tractor over to the side, this ROPS bar is gonna help prevent your machine from tipping and rolling over and over again. Alrighty folks, well I hope you enjoyed that and it gave you some food for thought. If you have other ways, other dangerous situations that folks should know about, make sure you leave a comment down below. If you want to be part of this giveaway, you got to leave that comment too and subscribe to see more videos in the future. Some more giveaways coming up too as we reach closer to 100,000 subscribers. So if you're looking for a ballast weight solution like this for your tractor or maybe some other kind of attachment, make sure you check out goodworkstractors.com. Thanks again for taking the time to stop by and after watching this video, Please do stay safe and we'll see you soon.